Well, hello again from Kingston's Third Crossing, where behind me you can possibly see on the bridge the team who are producing the waterproofing that goes on the concrete spans. There's that new and much else besides in the update, so please keep watching to the end and I can promise you a special heron encounter in the wildlife. Please consider subscribing if you don't already do so and encourage friends to watch these updates if they're interested in the progress of the project. Thanks again. See you at the end. Let's kick off this week with a look at just where we stand in the week after Labour Day. You can see the considerable gap now left by the removal of the bulk of the temporary trestle roadway. The last of the expansion joints has still to be poured and there are a few small sections of wall to be completed. But overall, we're in pretty good shape. So let's make a day-by-day -day examination of just what happened this week. The trestle crew started the week with some repositioning of equipment. Up on Gore Road, a rather larger piece of equipment was also on the move. As the Tadano wheeled crane was loaded onto a massive transporter and taken to the west side. At the east abutment, the site of the last expansion joint continued to receive attention. Nearby, wall forms, their work done, were being cleaned for removal. And the crew had just the equipment to make those moves. Work to prepare for the installation of the expansion joint continued. It wasn't very long before the joint made its approach. And then, the ticklish task of lowering it carefully into place began. Precision of placement is absolutely paramount and it's very much a team task which can drive a fair amount of consultation and discussion. Precision is a feature of every activity on this project. A tremendous effort is being made to remove all the temporary structures from the bridge. Sometimes, whole sections of brackets can be removed. The work is helped enormously by the great reach of the bucket lifts. On the south side of the concrete spans, an amazing crew working from the bridge buggies has made tremendous progress this week. And in case you're wondering, the West End was not neglected last week. Bar construction were busy completing the preparation of the multi-use pathway. As Tuesday came to a close, we discovered that the Sedano crane had been moved to disassemble one of the LTR 1100s. By Wednesday morning, the ballast weights and jib had been removed and the second LTR 1100 moved down to the causeway. After a final load check, it was time for the weights to depart. The tracks were the next thing to depart, and by mid-afternoon, with the arrival of a transporter, everything was ready to remove the crane body itself. Earlier in the day, the skilled craftsmen from Sousa ReadyMix had assembled to pour sidewalks on the West End, near Ascot Road. Their signature hand finishing was very much in evidence. Nearby, Hybrid Construction, an uncommon visitor to the site, were installing what is probably a telecommunications vault. On the east side, work to pull trestle continued, with the crane mats lifting off regularly, Several of the mats were also removed completely from the site on Wednesday, some on a very fancy curtain truck. The 
bar team was working steadily to complete the approach to the east abutment and work on the east abutment expansion joint with Black and MacDonald in attendance continued. Thursday was an unusually calm day. A ramp was built over the expansion joint on the east end and that caused some speculation about the purpose. Everything became clear in the afternoon when a series of ready mix trucks from CBM arrived to pour concrete into several sections of the medium. On the trestle, with crane mats removed the afternoon before, the time was right to move the girders. Even as this happened, older girders were making their way off the site on a series of transports. With the girders out of the way, it was time to begin using the vibrating hammer to lift the remaining piles from the bed of the river. And all the while, the critical work of cleaning up the concrete spans continued. As Thursday's activities drew to a close, the Tadano crane found another job, assisting Barr with the placement of a gasket and lid on the oil grit separator on the west side. At the end of a week of fine weather, Friday was another beautiful late summer day. The push to clear the temporary trestle roadway continued, Preparations to lift the piles include preparing the site of collars that will be welded on. The crane advances and lowers the vibrating hammer, which is carefully and firmly attached to the top of each pile. A safety cable provides additional security. Once the hammer is triggered and begins to vibrate, you can immediately see the response and a rise begin. Some of you might have been wondering, what about all those waterproofing materials that appeared last week? Well, a crew from Black Rose Waterproofing, a Kingston company, appeared on Friday. They were ably assisted in preparation of the surface by the Hanko Company of Ottawa. With a sealant primer in place, It wasn't too long before the waterproof surface was being laid. I think we can be certain to see a great deal more of this work in the week ahead. But in the meantime, let's have a look at some wildlife.
that's another big week behind us on the site. Things are going very well. The weather has been very helpful this week. Four day week, but a great deal achieved. Look out next week for another update. And in the meantime, take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.